here it is lads our moment of absolute reckoning the retribution of king renly of good king renly is nigh these next few actions will determine our dynasty and lay the legacy that will outlive a thousand generations and it begins right here the sad responsibility of the execution of the false king Stannis Baratheon lies within our hands, not because our good King Renly lacks the conviction to see it through, but because he should not be labeled as a kinslayer for this moment on. We do this not out of hatred for our enemy, but out of love for our allies, for our king, our chosen king Renly Baratheon. And so now the time has come. In the name of King Renly of the House Baratheon, first of his name, rightful King of the Andals and the First Men, Lord of the Seven Kingdoms and Protector of the Realm, I, Lord Stephen of House Tanner, Lord of Sharp Point and Servant of the Stormlands, sentence you to die. Have you any last words, Lord Stannis? Go on then, do your duty. And it's done! On the 14th day of winter, 299, Stannis Baratheon was executed. And at long last, it is done. Our good king, our chosen king, Renly Baratheon, is now free from the threat of dark magic at the hands of his own older brother. He may not have been first in line. He may not have been the chosen king by his own brothers, but he is the king that we, the people, have chosen. And we shall follow him into a new age, a new era for the Stormlands and for Westeros as a whole. In the weeks that followed the execution of the false king Stannis Baratheon, good King Renly decided to grant the ancient seat of Dragonstone to the loyal lord Stephen of House Tanner himself. Shortly after the wedding ceremonies were completed, the Lord and Lady of House Tanner consummated their marriage and are now expecting their first child. And as the renown of House Tanner grew with every victory, every conquest in the name of King Renly, more and more warriors flocked to their banners. A fellow Stormland Knight, this is Sir Thoros of House Stormsea. The son of a former Mirish mercenary and a Lycian courtesan, his father gained knighthood from an unknown warrior during the War of the Nine Penny Kings. Newly minted as a landless knight, Sir Thoros seeks to conquer a land and carve his name in the wars to come. Endowed with the malice and ambition of mercenaries, he seeks to make his family's name with the sword. From the lands of the Reach we have Sir Reynard Virwell, a young knight of House Virrell in the Reach has long been guided by his unwavering loyalty to his house and the ideals of knighthood. While his journey has been marked by trials and tribulations, he remains steadfast in his commitment to honor and duty. Within these pursuits, he may find himself drawn to the service of Stefan Tanner, a seasoned commander whose leadership he respects and whose cause aligns with his own values. And the Knight of the Westerlands, we have Sir Roderick Hill of House Rain. Roderick is rumored to be a bastard of House Vickery, the cadet branch made by the Reigns. However, this is only a rumor, a rumor that Roderick does not like to speak upon. He is determined to bring honor to his house, which currently only consists of himself. While his bastard blood has brought his social status low, Roderick would fight tooth and nail for his commander. And from the wintry abode of the North, we have Lady Alara Iceheart. A formidable warrior and leader, Lady Alara Iceheart hails from a lesser-known house in the north. She rose to prominence through her own skill and determination, earning the respect of her peers and foes alike. Lady Alara has a strong sense of duty and honor, and is known for her strategic prowess on the battlefield. With a mighty city now flying his banner, his legacy secured in the hopes of his unborn child, and the addition of warriors of great renown at adding their swords to his cause. All that remains for Lord Stefan is to install his king upon his rightful throne at the seat of King's Landing. But before we can turn our attention to the west, into the bosom of Blackwater Bay, we must turn our attentions to the east, to fight in the wars of our liege lord and our chosen king, and to fight the slave masters of Essos and the Stepstones. 
Greetings, Knights of YouTube. I am your Lord Commander, and welcome back to the Hammer and Anvil series here in a Realm of Thrones mod for Mountain Blade 2 Bannerlord. I do hope you have enjoyed the uh, the most recent uploads that we've had, lads. And I do hope you enjoyed our little uh, semi-cinematic uh, introduction for this episode. But that is all that I have to say for this episode. Thank you all very much for all your companion suggestions. Uh, I did do a, quite a bit of traveling around and, uh, you know, uh, game tweaking in order to make these companions happen. But alas, we are now here at the opportunity to declare war upon the East. Uh, I don't really want to keep my wife with me, if I'm being honest. So I think I'm actually going to send her back to Dragonstone. But I will just kind of leave her here, uh, especially while she's currently pregnant. Um, so we are going to just drop her off. Can I just... Yeah, we're going to drop off Lady Veronica Tanner. Lovely. Stay here, my love, my wife. Everything shall be fine. We shall go off to war and once... Uh, our child is born. Perhaps I will come pick you up once again. And we will fight together on the field of battle. I would love that. Now, the question is, do I want to join up with uh, Lord Eric Dondarrion's army? Or shall I just charge forth unto the breach and fight these slave masters myself? This is, in fact, the question, lads. Oh, look. It's the King Renly Baratheon himself. My friend, it's been a while. Congratulations to you and Veronica Tanner on your marriage. Thank you, Your Grace. Uh, scout enemy garrisons. Uh, we don't know enough about the enemy, where they, are, where they are strong and where they are weak. I don't want to lead a huge army through their territory on a wild goose hunt. We need someone to ride through there swiftly, scouting out their garrisons. Can you do this? Of course, Your Grace. I'll gladly do this for you. Go deep into the Lyceni, uh, the Lyceni territory to Sunstone, Lys, and Alnor. I want to know every detail about them, what sort of fortifications they have, whether the walls are well manned or under garrisoned, and any other enemy forces in the vicinity. Consider it done, Your Grace. Very well. When you reach one of, our, one of their fortresses, spend some time observing. Don't move on to the next one at once. You don't need to find me to report back the details, just send your messengers. Of course, Your Grace. There we go, lads. So now we have our first official quest. We are going on a scouting mission into enemy territory. So let us be on our way. Luckily, yeah, there's a port right here that we can set sail from, which is perfect. Oh, Wreckstone is being uh, raided. Ain't that some shit? Bloodstone is being raided. Ain't that some shit? All right, we're going we're gonna to take it a little slow here, lads. Yeah, Benfred Talhart. Hang on now. He's got 98 cav. That's crazy. Benfred Talhart. A mercenary fighting for the lease. For the Lycene. Interesting. Stop there, stranger. I bid you peace. At least until I find out who you are, anyway. Nice. He's got some northern armor. Some northern men with him. That's a northern knight. That's crazy. I am Lord Stefan of House Tana. Lord of Dragonstone and Sharp Point. And who are you? I am Banfred Talhart. I'm afraid I have to consider you my enemy. Ah, I have heard of you. Your name strikes fear in men's hearts. That is the best kind of reputation to have. Perhaps we may have interests in common. So, in our lands it is customary to pay us a tax for our protection. Unless, of course, you want to fight. Uh... I kind of want to settle this the old way. Do you want to chat? You want to duel me? Allow a safe passage. Oh yeah, he's gonna let us do that. Very cool. Begin the duel. Very nice, lads. I might end up fighting them anyway. We'll kind. Of, we'll see. I don't know anything about these enemies, so I don't know what kind of capabilities they have. They have 98 cavalry, uh, but I don't know what that's gonna mean for me and my men. So. Took him out in one hit. That's crazy. That was absolutely wild. Sorry, Banfred. <laughs> also, I don't know if you may notice, but the, uh, yeah, my camera settings are a little different. I've been finagling around with my camera settings. Uh, if you like them, fantastic. If not, uh, I will do some something. 
you know? Uh, but I guess we'll just see. All right, we go to battle. I don't really care. We're going to fight them anyway. I want the glory of combat. Uh, yeah, let's attack. We'll see what happens, lads. I wonder if it's a lot of, like, a lot more northern troops or if he has a lot of, like, SOC troops with him. Um, despite the fact that he and, like, his his two men on his sides had, uh, had northern armor. I suppose we shall see, lads. Interesting. Yeah, it's going to be a very small island battle. Oh, look at that. There's a ship over there. Yeah, they're going to be they're sailing off on their ship. Do we have a ship? We do have a ship, bro. That's fucking cool, man. Yeah, we, we basically just met up on this island and we're like, yeah, we're going to duke it out. It'll be fine. Very nice. Yeah, look at our boys. Very nice. Sothoro Storm Seas up there. Very nice. He's a he's a horse archer. I didn't even realize it's cool. One hell of a man. Yeah, they're 97 cav are coming right at us. This is going to be interesting indeed, lads. Very interesting indeed. We're going to hold off on sending our uh, our own cavalry right off the bat. Cavalry! Attack! How about the bastards, lads? Ooh. Oh, I hit somebody else's horse. There we go. They have a lot of cavalry, but they also have a lot of archers, too. Yeah, they're going to give us a tad bit of grief. Oh, come on, you bastards. Kill them all for the glory of King Renly. Ooh, there we go, lads. Oh, that's my own man. Sorry, lad. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. Come on. Death to the mercenary bastards. Honorless bastards all. Aw, oh, damn. Aw, oh, damn. It's alright. Come on. Ooh, yeet. Bastard. Yeet. There we go. Come on. Yeah, we definitely lost a lot of men here, though. We shouldn't be so reckless with our, our, all our troops. Kill them all! Especially now that we're so deep in uh, enemy territory, but I mean, it is what it is. I just hope I didn't lose any of my companions yet, you know? That would suck. Yeah, look at the Forge Masters go. Very nice. I love all our custom troops, man. Like, they're, they're such badasses. This was a this was an interesting island battle. Not bad. Ah, oh, damn it! Damn it! Take down that horseman, lads! Damn it! I can't time it right. There we go. There's one man left. There we go. Whew. Very nice, lads. Very well fought. Look at that. We caught an arrow right in the gorge. Jesus. God, we lost 22 men, six apprentice tanners, three Black Forge knights, nine Black Forge stag champions. God damn. Yeah, those are tough numbers. That was a lot of my, uh, yeah, a lot of my cavalry too. Damn. That's all right. 22 death or 22 dead and then 22 wounded. Those are pretty tough numbers. Yeah, you are my prisoner now. Sorry, lad. Uh, the rest of your men can go free just because I don't want them slowing me down. If I'm being honest. All right, 
Not bad, lads. Let us get some more troops in here. Very nice. I'm going to be island hopping just a tad bit throughout this episode, lads. Yeah, we're going to wait here at Sunstone. And gather some info. Very nice. Alright, now let's go and help out Wreckstone real quick. Just because we're nearby. 95, 96. There we go. Let's go and help out Carlin of the Wild Hairs. Help Wreckstone. Yeah, very nice. He's got he's got 48 cavalry again, so this is gonna be another pretty tough one. 12 cav, 34 ranged, 51 infantry. It's gonna be tough for sure, but I still think we can handle it, so we attack. Doing a bit of island hopping in this episode, lads. This is gonna be interesting. I don't really plan on making this a super short episode just because it's the Friday episode, which means you'll have a pretty long episode to uh, to watch throughout the, the weekend and everything. I'm thinking like maybe an hour max. Nothing super, super crazy, but Army! we'll see. Yeah, we don't have any room to set up any kind of defensive lines, which is perfect. Infantry! Shipmen! Move! Actually, I'm thinking, do I want to pull them, like, off this way? Imagine I get them, like, stuck in a choke point. Troops! Loose troops! Move! Soldiers! Forward! Forward! I was about to say, it kind of depends on, like, where they start coming in at. So maybe I can back them up into this cliffside here. Infantry, stand up! Soldiers! Move! Yeah, because they're closing in on us fast, so we better hurry. Maybe even like over here. Troops! Footmen, make infantry! Move! Form a shield wall! Soldiers, stand apart! Troops! Forward! Maybe I can do it even better and put them, Troops! like, over here. Move! Infantry! Soldiers! Move! Infantry! Move! Troops! Forward! Yeah, here they come. Troops! Soldiers! Oh, can I get them up here? That's cool. Troops forward! cavalry that we gotta watch out for look at uh, sir thoros storm sea hell yeah dude get some shit done man nice oh that's my own man love that yeah look at them they're trying to climb the hill to get at my uh, my archers There we go. Look, I'm fast as shit. I'm running up on this dude on a horse. 
Come here, you little bastard. Oh, no, the poor horse. Yeah, they don't have any, uh, any infantry, which is fine. Nice. Yeah, we'll get our archers to charge in there. Ooh, nice hit, nice hit. Sorry, horse. Ooh, good shot. That would have been a cool hit, honestly, if I made that. But it's alright. Fight on, men of the Stormlands. Kill the bastards all. Death to the slave masters. Yeah, it's just the seven cavalrymen now. Yeah, not bad. Soldiers! Yeah, nearly all of my uh, my cavalry was depleted. Go on, Sir Thoros. Get him! Oh, come on, Sir Thoros. Please. Kill the bastard. Somebody get that man. Dude, come on. Is he really that bad at riding? Where are you going? Oh, there's another man over there. No, that's our own man. I... I don't understand what they're doing. <laughs> what the fuck is happening? Everyone, charge! All right, all right. At least, at least he's fighting him now. Go on, Sothoros. Yeah, there's another man over there. Yeah, we've pushed them all the way out into the sea. That's crazy. Aw, oh, Sir Jeremy Steed was taken down. No. Vengeance for Sir Th Jeremy. Oh, I hit his horse. Damn, dude. Somebody get that man, please. Somebody. Anybody. He's the last man standing. Sir Thoros Stormsea was taken down too. God damn it. Somebody kill that man. Anybody. Thank you. Jesus. Oh, my God. All right. This time wasn't too bad. We only lost four men. Yeah. Not bad. Not bad. Jeez. Oh, <laughs> God. Yeah, we're not exactly in the Stormlands anymore. We don't have the uh, the home field advantage of fighting an enemy we know. Now we're uh, in unknown territory. Carlin of the Wild Hairs. Yeah, you're my you're definitely my prisoner now, guy. You should have been in prison just for looking like that. If I'm being honest. Nice. Right, so we can get 144 men now. Not bad. All right. So we need to go by Lease and then Alnor. I think we're gonna stop by Alnor for uh, first. That way we can. You know, travel along these uh, these friendly villages and whatnot. Uh, let's shoot for you know the villages that have like the high tier troops. Yeah, like these guys. So there is an army nearby. Yeah, Poli, Bulgaro, Lohar. Yeah, they have four hundred men. We're gonna have to be careful here. Looks like there was a battle just done over here. Yeah, Alinor is nearby. However, there was just that army. Yeah, that's what I was looking for. They have 3.6 speeds. So we out we outspeed them. Nice. Ooh. Okay. Juke moves. Not bad. Yeah, we're able to outmaneuver them, and now we are on our way to Lease. Fortunate. Don't get in my way. Yeah, there we go. Leave. Be gone. Thank you. I was afraid she was going to try and, that one party of uh, 50 men was going to try and stop us. 
Jaffa. Zuad. Carlin of the Wild Hairs has escaped. There we go. Yeah, but that, that army is still right on our tail. Whew. Alrighty, lads. So we did manage to uh, finish that quest. Very nice. That was actually pretty cool. Uh, it was a little danger close, but uh, we, we did actually do that. That was not bad. Oh, nice. We're pretty, uh, we're pretty stacked up right now. Uh, let us go to trade. We luckily didn't have to fight anybody. Uh, but it looks like it's fine. I did find for ourselves a fine light crossbow. Um, however, I do need a crossbow skill of 40, uh, which I believe I have none of. I have four. <laughs> Fuck. Um, I also did try my hand at smithing, uh, just between, like, last episode and this episode. And, um, unfortunately, it didn't give me the option to forge, like, another sledgehammer like ours did. The only two-handed mauls or maces that they have um is uh you know it looks like a mace it's basically like a ball with a spike or like a big ass club basically uh but unfortunately no big ass sledgehammer heads so unfortunately the uh the smithing task is not going to be something that i i want to continue to pursue in this playthrough um but while we're here let me see if i can't go to the arena and see if I can't train my crossbow skill. I doubt I can train myself all the way up to level 40. Um, but at least we could get a little bit of something. That way if we find like a lesser crossbow, we could use that. Damn it. Yeah, he's not he's not going to let me work on it, unfortunately. Which is fine. Um, so I found, I found a heavy crossbow here in Weeping Town. They also have a light crossbow. But it, its crossbow skill is level 20, which I don't have. But so is the heavy crossbow. And the only difference is the speed is low on this one, but it pierces up by quite a bit. So hopefully I can use, I can level myself up a little bit, use the heavy crossbow for a time, and then use the, uh, you know, as I level up using combat, I can use the, uh, the fine light crossbow. The only reason I want the fine light crossbow is because it has really high speed, literally 80 speed. That's like reload speed. Um... I can reload it while moving because it's a light crossbow. I can reload it on horseback if I ever decide I want to be a horse archer again. Uh, and then it has 85 damage. Even the heavy crossbow only has 82 damage, but 61 reload speed. And I can't do it on horseback or while moving. So we're going to go ahead and purchase that and be on our way, lads. Now the question is, do I want to cheat mode uh, my level 20 crossbow skill? This is the question. A few moments later. Oh, what do you know? I have a level 23 crossbow skill now. Fantastic. That means... There we go, lads. Heavy crossbow, double heavy bolts. Fantastic. I love it when things work out in our favor like that. Hmm. <laughs> now, we are still at war with the, uh, the Lyseni. The Lycene, if you will. Uh, I don't know where Eric Dondarian's army went. I feel like I'm kind of the only one who's actually going to go out and do shit in this war. Um, maybe we're going to take a defensive stance. Or maybe I'm just going to go out and fight more of these minor party men. Uh, as we have done before. Which is fine, honestly. I'm not too worried about it. Maybe we'll just take the fight to the, uh, the slave masters over here in the east. I want to know where that big ass army went. Ah, uh, Coria with a ransom for Benfred Talhart. They want 4,000 for him. I accept. Nice. We're making some decent money from our, our settlements. It's not bad. Seaworth left the Stormlands. Oh, man. He joined the, uh, the Lyseni. Damn it. He's pissed that we, uh, that we executed King Stannis and now he's joined our enemies. Damn you, Sir Davos. All right, let's take out some of these lads, some of these Lyseni. 4.4. Yeah, we're slightly faster than them, so let's just chase them off into uh, friendlier territories and fight them. Forgive me for what may seem an abundance of caution, but please keep your distance. So, who might you be? I am Lord Stefan of House Tanner, a servant of the Stormlands and Lord of Dragonstone. And who are you? I am Zwad of the Ormolin. I know your name. They say you are a man of valor. If fate ever decrees that we cross swords, it would be an honor. 
That time may come sooner than you may think, my lady. You know that our realms are at war. Surrender now, or die. Uh, no, we're gonna fight. Yeah, sorry. Hate to do it to you, but we attack. Yeah, I don't think they're gonna rush at us, so... Uh... Soldiers! And troops! Move to enemy! Yeah, we'll get them all just to engage for now. Soldiers! Give them hell! Troops, raise your shields! Oh, yeah. Nice. See, right off the bat, getting some kills. Soldiers! There we go. Yeah, we'll, we'll get to level 40 in no time. Ah, oh, good cavalry charge. Not bad. Yeah, these poor Lyseni recruits, man. Never really stood a chance, did they? there lads nice yeah we kind of obliterated them didn't we not bad Ah, nice. We can get another companion. I don't know if we have room for another companion. Let's get one. One Black Forge Knight. Thurgood the Swordsman. I like that. Yeah, not bad. Didn't lose a single man. Very cool. All right, we'll see. We'll see if we have room for another companion. Because if not, then we'll, <laughs> we're gonna have to get rid of somebody. <laughs> nice. So I do have room for one more companion. Perfect. So we have Thurgood the Swordsman. Uh, he is honest. He is fearless. He's cruel and impulsive. Uh, he's got 136 stewardship. So what I need... Yeah, what I need is somebody who's going to be a decent enough uh, governor to my uh, city. To Dragonstone. So uh, if you guys want to build Thurgood the Swordsman into a, a steward, if you have a character uh, suggestion you would like to see brought into life, into the game, uh, then turn him into a steward, somebody that I can have as a governor of one of my cities. Uh, and if not him, then uh, actually let's take a look real quick while we got time. Who would be the best governor here? Because it, it's checking based off of the leadership skill, not so much the stewardship skill. So, as far as leadership goes, Sir Roderick and Sir Raynard Highwell are both, uh, or uh, Veerwell, sorry, are uh, the best options here. Yeah, faster building production, 20%. Even uh, Lady Alara, yeah, 20%. 20% basically all the way around. That's interesting. Uh, but yeah, so one of these two gentlemen are kind of the best bet. Actually, I think Thurgood the Swordsman is going to be our best bet. So, I'm going to go ahead and send Thurgood over there. Yeah, he's going to be our governor over in uh, Dragonstone. And if you guys have a character suggestion you would like to be, you know, brought to life as the governor of Dragonstone, uh, feel free to turn him into however you want, honestly. Should be interesting. But as for the rest of us lads, we march back off into war. We have room for one more companion now. Or uh, one more recruit, I mean. Come along, Amar. A fogo of the bright banners. There we go. Cut his ass. Not bad. Uh, we're gonna fight it out. Yeah, he wants to clash in battle. That's fine. 
So be it, my friend. So be it. You may not like what happens in that uh, in that outcome, if I'm being honest. So, good luck to you, lad. Yeah, they're not going to rush out at us. Which is fine. Yeah, I figured that would be the case. Soldiers! Charge! Troops! Closing! Soldiers! Loose formation! That's what I meant to do. My bad, lads. Soldiers! Advance! Troops! Forward! Come along, lads. Follow your Stormlord into battle once more. Brave men of House Tana. Look at this fucking army, dude. Like, my god. It may not be huge, but goddamn if these men aren't loyal to the fucking bone. Yeah, I'm actually gonna I'm gonna hang out with my my badass storm sags. Look at these fucking uh halberdiers and everything. Such badasses, dude. Yeah, and good old Sir Jeremy Steed, the first of our, uh the first of our companions, lads. Certainly not bad. Leading his archers, his storm stags. As soon as we get close enough, men. We open fire. Yep, there we go. Soldiers! Form us troops! Kill them all! Nice. I hate somebody. God damn! Sorry, lad. I mean, I, I should have known that was gonna happen, or at least something like that was gonna happen. Yeah, here come the horsemen. Have at them, lads. Ooh, nice, good shot, lads. For glory, lads. My god, it's a bloodbath. Oh, those are my men. Love that. Everybody charge. Oh, very nice. Yeah, not bad. Yes, let me see my companions. Lady Alara Icehot. God damn, what a menace. Yeah, what an absolute badass, dude. She looks so cool. Northern Warrior S indeed. Yeah, not bad. I gave her uh, I gave her Bright Flame as well, Stannis' sword. Because she's gonna be one of our uh, one of our better commanders. Uh, where's the rest of my boys at, dude? I'm trying to look for like the, the empty heads. Hold on, I just want to see them. Black Forge Stag. Yeah, not bad. Yeah, very nice. Here's Sir Thora Stormsea. Very nice. That's a boy, lad. And I think that's it, because the rest of them are... Uh, are with the, the archers. But not bad, lads. Certainly not bad. Yeah. Very cool. I love getting you guys to make uh, companion suggestions for us. It's always such a fun experiment. And uh, see, seeing, like, your characters, your companions brought to life in the game. Doing some badass shit. Killing enemies and everything like that. It's, uh, it's pretty cool, man. It's pretty cool. Nice. 66 infantry, 44 archers, 29 cav. I like those numbers. Certainly not bad. Not bad. There's still plenty of uh, minor uh, 
minor clansmen around here. Yeah, see, like, Gylo. Oh, see, he, uh, he changed his, uh... Oh, granaries have been built in Dragonstone. Lovely. Uh, not bad. But yeah, he, he changed his allegiances real fucking fast. He's part of this Gagosi now. Here we go, the Lysine. Come on, turn around and fight me. You want some too? I was like, wait a minute. Come here. Yeah, look, they're all just going to keep running right past us. That's crazy. Lord Lissaro Ve Velaro. I love that. Well, good day to you. So, who might you be? I am Lord Stefan of House Tanner, Lord of Dragonstone and Servant of the Stormlands. And who are you? I am Lissaro Velaro of, of House Velaro. I am a Lord of Aquos. Dying. I don't know. I don't know shit about Essos. I'm not going to lie. I'm kind of lost over here. Uh, it is good to finally meet. We're going to fight. Do you want to duel it out? Yeah. Begin the duel. We're going to duel it out, and then I'm going to fight his men anyway. Yeet. Yeet. Yeah, very nice. I love our sledgehammer, dude. Such a such a great great choice for this uh for this series to be sure. Yeah, let's go to battle. They have 111 infantry. We attack. Cool. I might just charge in with uh with the boys, you know, the uh, the infantry and the the archers with me. Leave our cavalry out uh for this time around. On my command. Yeah, because Sir Roderick and Jeremy are both with the uh, the archers. That's why I didn't see them last time. Uh, it's weird because Sir Roderick Hill has more ranged influence. Yeah, literally 54 ranged. But he doesn't have any ranged weapons himself. So we're going to place him with the infantry, actually. Soldiers, move! That's fine. Troops, on soul after me! Come along, lads. Yeah, here they come. So make a shield wall! Troops, stand apart! Alright, that fell a little short. There we go. Soldiers! Move! Alright, I lied. I'm gonna pull up my cab just a tad bit. Come on, lads. Yeah, where's that that Lannister bastard? Come on, boys. Soldiers! Charge! Brace for the charge, lads. There we go. Like any horsemen down. Yeah, look at the javelins, dude. Jesus. Oh my god, just launching thunderbolts at him. Oh my god, it's menacing. Infantry, hold fire and charge in there, lads. Kill the bastards all! Come on! Fighting it out, lads. Their archers are on us. Come on. Come on. Oh, that's our man. Who's left? Very nice. Look at Sir Thoros getting in there. Very nice. Yeah, not bad. And look, there he is, Sir Roderick Hill. 
Atta boy, lad. And there she is, Lady Alara Icehot. God damn, she's got to be one of my favorite characters, dude. She looks so good. The, the missing eye, the scars and everything is pretty badass. And of course, just the, the big brawny like northern armor and shit. Ah, oh, what a badass, dude. And then of course, where's the, where's the Lannister bastard at? Here he is. Sir Roderick Hill of House Rain. How lovely. boy, lad. We lost four men that time. Two Blackforge Knights, an Apprentice Tanna, and a Stormlands Horseman. Quite sad. There we go. So we've got three parties on all sides of us. Two of the Bright Banners and uh, this guy, Moreto. Oh, yeah, see? They're, they're kind of on us. I kind of want to wait around and just have them charge at us. Come on, I want a proper fight. Ah, oh, you cowards. Come on, somebody, please. Here they come. Come on. Somebody, anybody. They're all just way too, like, low tier, I think. Come on. There we go, finally. Halt. You want to tell me who you are? Or shall we just have at it? I am Lord Stefan of House Tanner. Lord of Dragonstone and servant of the Stormlands. And who are you? I am Bokoko of the Bright Banners. I am afraid I have to consider you my enemy. Ah, I know your name. It is good to meet. Uh, do you want to duel it out? I mean, he's going to let us duel it out. And that's interesting. Even though we're surrounded by like four parties. I doubt they're going to have the men to really take us on. Especially if we can get ourselves a really solid, like, defensive line set up. <laughs> oh, damn. Literally shattered his shield, dude. That's crazy. Yeah, go to battle. They have 330 men. They have a lot of cavalry. So we're going to have to be careful here. But... I don't know. We attack. I'm down for it. And there's still another 175 men just lurking about outside. We caught all four of these parties. It's not bad. They think they have us trapped here with them. Oh no, my friends. No, no. We have them trapped here with us. It's not going to be perfect. It's going to be a bit of, like, messy terrain to be sure. But... Uh, there is a minor incline, like, right here. So I'm thinking archers just right here. Yeah, 49 archers. We're going to kind of cheese the, uh, you know, the AI. Because we're right here next to the edge. Which means that their horsemen aren't going to be able to, like, get too far around us. And I'm thinking put our troops kind of, like, here. Move! Right. You know? Like, hide them in the hill of this, uh... Is this too far out? Yeah, that's too far out. Adversely, what if we put our infantry down here, right? And then our... Soldiers! Archers on this ridge instead. Move! Soldiers! Forward! Like so. Troop! Form a shield! Troop! Loose formation! Soldiers! Forward! Yeah, they have 65 cavalry. Yeah, here they come, lads. The foreign mercenary bastards. Go on, lads. Death before dishonor. Kill the bastards all. Damn, I feel like Sauron right now. I'm taking out three or four of these bastards in one swing. Come on, boys. Oh, look at that guy. Aw, oh, damn it. There we go. 
Yeah, see, look at him. Ah, you bastard. Oh, I'm gonna be taken down by these Cav here. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna be taken down by these Cav. Sorry, horse. Yeah, they got my ass good. Go on, boys. Finish this. Hold on. Where's, where's my companions at? Yeah, Sir Jeremy Steed. Very nicely done, lads. Stormstag, Stormstag, Forked Buck. Where are my companions? Yeah, not bad. I was taken down. Uh, Lady Alara was taken down. Sir Reynard, Sir Roderick, and Sir Thoros. Yeah, everybody was taken down except for Sir Jeremy. Not bad. He definitely clutched this win for us. We lost 20, 29 men, though. 12 of our Black Forge Knights, 3 Black Forge Stag Champions, and then a bunch of uh, minor people, Storm Forge Knights, Storm Stags. Yeah. Lost 29 men. That's tough. Another 44 wounded. But considering they outnumbered us literally by more than half of our number, and we still came out on top, that's not bad. Not bad. Yeah, there's still plenty of men coming around chasing Stefan's party. I don't know. I think I can take these guys too, if I'm being honest. Kind of want to try it. I just got to wait for more of my men to heal up. So we're going to take it nice and slow. Oh yeah, look, they've turned away. That's a shame, but it is what it is. Nice, look at all the prisoners we have too. Not bad. Alright, thank you very much, City of Mirth. But I believe my uh, my time here is done. Let us return home to Dragonstone. Patrolling around Storm's End. Yeah, see, they're going to declare war, but they're not going to come over here and do anything. Which I'm fine with, because I, I, I would hate for us to be taking territories, taking cities all the way out here in fucking Essos. Anyway, lads, set a course for Dragonstone. Look at the Titan of Bravos all the way up there. That's crazy. Here we are. Narrow view, sharp points. Very nice. And now we enter the mouth of Blackwater Bay. Robin Keltigar. Very nice. Look at all the lords just hanging around Dragonstone. Okay, we're going to drop off all of these lads. Thank you very much. Let's see how the town is going. So they're spending the money I'm giving them, which is good. They're getting some pretty decent stuff built. Uh, they said they got the granaries built, which is fantastic. Uh, fairgrounds are being built. Loyalty. Loyalty is going up, you know, despite the fact that, uh, yeah, because he's got heroic leader. That's exactly what I wanted. Yeah, so please, somebody, give me, uh, you know, give me a good character suggestion for Thurgood the Swordsman. Thurgood the Steward, something like that. Uh, leave it in the comment section below and my favorite one will absolutely be uh, put in here as our new steward of Dragonstone. Or governor of Dragonstone, I suppose. I guess it doesn't really matter. Alright lads, there is a tournament to be held here in Dragonstone. So we're going to do this tournament and it's going to be the last part of our episode for, uh, for the week. So, heavy warlord pauldrons. Lovely. And here we are, lads. We are finally here in the uh, the tournament of Dragonstone to commemorate the rise to lordship from one Lord Stefan of House Tanna. Now, in addition to the heavy warlord pauldrons, we are also going to gift our dear Lord Stefan a, uh, an official title granted to him by his subjects of Dragonstone by the small folk that are under his protection. So at the very end, if we can make it to the very end and, and live you know, and, and survive through the finale of the, uh, of the tournament, then we will be gifted a, an official title. But that is where you guys come in because in addition to your character suggestions in the comment section below, also leave us a proper title for our new Lord of the Stormlands, our Lord of Dragonstone, Lord Stefan of House Tana. Give him a title like the Storm Lord, the Storm Hammer, the, the Forge Man, the whatever have you. Like come up with your best unique titles for Lord Stefan of House Tanner, Lord of Dragonstone. But before we can get into that, we have to officially win the tournament. So 
Let's go ahead and bet some money because why not? Let's join in. Me and Sir Roderick Hill. Hiya. Ooh, very nice. Aw, oh, man. We are we're pretty menacing, lads, on the field of battle. Oh, my wife, Veronica Tana. Oh, we're going to fight Sir Jeremy Steed, Lady Ensley Dondarrion. Yeah, and it's going to be us, me, uh, Lady Alara Iceheart, and Veronica Tana. Oh, Sir Raynard, he lost to Ensley Dondarrion. Not bad. Thurgood, the, Stormland, uh, the swordsman, also lost to a Stormlands Fell Knight. That's interesting. <laughs> All right, let's get into it. I'm, I'm hot garbage with a bow and arrow, so I'm just going to rush in here and fight the bastards. Only one man left. Take him, take him out, lads. Come on, Sir Jeremy. Sorry, it has to happen like this, my friend. Oh, never mind. There we go. Well fought. Not bad. That's gonna be me and Lady Alara Iceheart versus my wife and a Stormlander Knight. Come along, my lady. Come, dear wife. Oh, damn! She cracked the fuck out of me. Look at her go for the other woman. She said, how dare you? It's all right. I didn't let uh, another woman put her hands on my wife, though. I love you. <laughs> and here we are against the one and only Lady Alara Iceheart in the finale of this tournament. Come on, my lady. Holy shit. Yeah, she chamber blocked the fuck out of me. Come on! Come on! Yes! Let's go, lads! And victory belongs to Lord Stefan of the Storm, lads. Lord Stefan, the Lord of Dragonstone. And in addition to the heavy warlord pauldrons, he has also won for himself the title of Lord Stefan the...